Today we'll talk about yet another automatic skin retouching plugin for Adobe Photoshop. Is it any good? Well, I'll show you how it works and I will let you decide if this plugin is something to consider. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So the plugin that I'm talking about is called Retouch For Me, an AI-powered retouching software. Please note that this is not a tutorial, but just an overview and a first look at the plugin. So Retouch For Me currently has seven individual products that perform certain functions in face and skin retouching. And these are Number 1. Heal. Which fixes minor skin defects such as blemishes, pimples, acne, and enlarged pores. Number 2. Dodge and Burn. Which smoothens out the skin while preserving the original skin texture. Number 3. Portrait Volumes. Adds extra depth and dimension to portraits by lightening and darkening different areas of the image. Number 4. Skin Tone. Evens out skin tone and removes redness or yellowness. Number 5. Eye Vessels. Removes enlarged blood vessels and redness from the eyes. Number 6. White Teeth. Creates that perfect clean smile. Number 7. Clean Backdrop. Detects dirt, small folds, and sensor dust automatically, and removes it from an evenly colored studio background. Alright, why don't we open a few images and put these plugins to the test, shall we? Let's start with this image. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. And let's zoom in so we can focus on her face. Then we go to Filter. Retouch for me. And select Retouch for me heal. Make sure that the high resolution option is checked so that the plugin can perform with more accuracy and cleaner edges. Let's zoom in and see the effect. Wow! This looks really good. We can then increase or decrease the sensitivity by moving the slider right here to refine the selection of the blemishes to be healed. I prefer to leave it at 100. Then we have additional tools here on the left to really fine-tune the process. Make sure to tick the Make Mask option right here so that it will create a separate layer for the healing process. Then just click Apply down here. This is the original image. This is with the Heal filter. Let's rename this layer to Heal. It did a pretty amazing job removing those blemishes. Next, press Ctrl Alt Shift and the letter E to create a stamp visible layer. And then we go to Filter. Retouch for me. And select Dodge and Burn. And then let's zoom in to see the effect. This looks excellent. We can then move the warmth slider to adjust the temperature of the image as well as the blend slider to even out the skin tone. For now, let's just set it back to its default values. Again, make sure to check the soft light layer option right here to create a separate layer for the filter. Then click apply. Then we simply change the blend mode of this layer to soft light. And that's it. We were able to quickly retouch the image just by using the heal and dodge and burn filters. Let's rename this layer to Dodge Burn. Then group these two layers by pressing Ctrl G. This is the original image. This is with the Retouch For Me plugins. Let's zoom in further. Before. After. Wow. So far, I'm very impressed. Let's proceed with the second example. Again, we duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then go to Filter. Retouch for me. And select Retouch for me heal. Then click Apply. Let's zoom in. As you can see, it was not able to remove all the blemishes. But if we try to look at the heal layer, it did apply a lot of spot healing. Now press Ctrl Alt Shift and E to create a stamp visible layer and then go to Filter. Retouch for me. This time, select Retouch for me Dodge Burn. Let's increase the blend all the way to 200 and click Apply. Then change the blend mode to Soft Light. Before. After. Before. After. Let's group the two layers together. Before. 
after. Now to fine tune this image. Create a stamp visible layer. Add a blank layer. Select the spot healing brush tool. Zoom in. And then one by one remove the blemishes like so. I will fast forward this step. This is the before. This is after. So the result of the heal filter effect will depend on your image. In any case, you can manually choose to remove the leftover blemishes as you like. For this image, we used the filter as a starting point. Let's move on to the third example. First, we duplicate the layer. Then we run the retouch for me heal filter. Then create a stamp visible layer. Then we run the retouch for me dodge burn filter and change the blend mode to soft light. All right, looking good. Again, we create another stamp visible layer. Then run the retouch for me portrait volumes. Click apply and change the blend mode to soft light. So as you can see, it added contrast to the dark areas of the image. Let's decrease the opacity to 80%. Okay, it looks much better. Again, we create another stamp visible layer. And this time, run the retouch for me white teeth. Click apply. Before. After. Let's zoom in. Before. After. Let's group all the layers. This is the original image. And this is with all the retouch for me effects. What do you think? Did the plugins do a good job? Comment down below. If you ask me, I believe it did. And for our last example. Again, let's start with the heel filter. And again, for this image, it did not perform well on removing all the blemishes. But this is a good starting point. We create a stamp visible layer. Run the dodge and burn filter and set the blend mode to soft light. Before, after. Create again another stamp visible layer, but this time use the skin tone filter. Make sure that the high resolution is checked and enable the make mask option. Before, after. The effect is very subtle, but it's there. Let's zoom in and then look at the shadow on her nose. It has removed the redness and evened out the skin tones. If we disable all the layers except the skin tones layer, you can clearly see that it made some changes. Let's create another stamp visible layer and run the portrait volumes filter. Then change the blend mode to overlay. Before. After. Before. After. I believe it's too much. So let's decrease the opacity to 60%. Okay. Now it looks more natural. Let's group all the layers together. This is the original image. And this is with all the adjustments. Before. After. Now, we can stop right here but I want to remove some of the visible blemishes. I'll create a blank layer and use the spot healing and the healing brush to remove some of them. Let me go ahead and fast forward this step. This is the before. And this is after. Before. After. All right, that should do it. Okay, so this is retouch for me in a nutshell. Overall, I am impressed with what it can do. Everything is done automatically with a few clicks and it performs generally fast. The artificial intelligence required to create automatic retouching algorithms is quite reliable. I just wish that each effect automatically creates its own layer and applies the correct blend mode so that you don't need to manually do it yourself and save some extra steps. 
And not to mention the steep price point for each plugin is quite unattractive compared to cheaper alternatives out there. But the good news is, they are currently on Christmas sale and have 20% off on your first purchase. So if you really like this plugin, go ahead and purchase it now. Or you can go ahead and download a free trial to test it out first. Links are on the video description. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.